Hi, so this is no longer needed. Well, I wouldn't really, because you do still need it, but not for Cubase 12. So let's have a look at that and let's go. So if you're a Cubase user, you probably noticed that Cubase 12 was released last week on March 2nd. And it has lots of great new features, which I'll be making some separate videos about when I've had some time to explore them a bit more. But I've already made a couple of videos on the new licensing system that's part of Cubase 12, even before it was released. So I figured let's have a look at that first to see how it actually works in practice. Now it all starts with buying the software, of course, which you can do via the Steinberg website. And for me, since I was upgrading from Cubase Pro 11, it cost me 99 euros or $99 to upgrade. Now, when you buy a license, you will get an email from Steinberg with a download access code. And you can use that in the download assistant from Steinberg. And if you don't have that, you can also find the link to download the Steinberg download assistant on the Steinberg website. But there's also a link for that in the email that you get. And once you receive your download access code in the email, you can type it in over here and you will be able to download and license your products. Now download, you can do from here, Cubase, Cubase Pro 12. And as you can see, it consists of a lot of different parts. This is the main program on top here. And I've installed all recommended content and I have not yet installed all optional content. But once you install everything, you will get this nice blue icon on your desktop. So remember, it's a blue icon now. So don't start searching for the Cubase red icon because you won't find it. Now in the process, if you bought an upgrade, the whole installation and download process will also download a new e-licensor control center to update the license on your dongle to show that you have upgraded that license already to a Cubase 12 license. Now you don't actually need that license to run Cubase 12. But I guess it's just a way to prevent that you can keep buying upgrade licenses for the reduced price from that one Cubase 11 license. And what I also noticed when I bought this Cubase 12 release and tried the installation is that the actual upgrade of the Cubase 11 license may fail when the licensing servers are very busy. And now I'm talking about the old licensing servers of Steinberg that manage the licenses on the dongle because they always get overloaded on days of releases. And that's actually one of the reasons that they're upgrading to a new licensing system now. But don't panic if the upgrade of your Cubase 11 license fails, because I was still able to install Cubase 12 and activate it and run it without problems. I was also still able to run Cubase 11, although it said that it didn't have a valid license, but it allowed me, I think, 18 hours to still run Cubase 11 without a license. So when I tried upgrading the license again the next day, it succeeded and everything was back to normal. You just have to have a little patience because the upgrade licensing process can take quite a while. And after your license has been upgraded, it will look like this in the e-licensor control center. You'll see a Cubase Pro 11 license not upgradable because it has been upgraded already. And of course, if you have any other software on this dongle, you will also see it over here. But as you can see, I only have a Cubase license on this dongle and I will still need it for running Cubase Pro 11, but I don't need the dongle for running Cubase 12. Now, before we look at how to activate Cubase 12, if you like this video, please give it a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so you know when I post another video. Now let's have a look at how to activate Cubase 12. So after you've installed Cubase 12 and started up for the first time, you will see that it actually starts up the Steinberg Activation Manager because it notices that it doesn't have a valid license yet. And the Steinberg Activation Manager is a separate piece of software that was installed together with Cubase 12. But if it's somehow missing on your PC, there's also a separate download on the Steinberg website so you can download and install it separately. But for me, it was installed together with Cubase 12. So if I now push the sign in button, it opens a website where you need to have a Steinberg account. And if you don't have one, you can create an account over here. But I have one already. Push next. And now it says authorize Steinberg activation manager. To authorize the Steinberg activation manager, you must allow your browser to open the Steinberg activation manager. And once authorization is completed, you can close this page and continue working with Steinberg activation manager. And as you can see, Steinberg activation manager has now change to you have successfully installed Cubase. You can now close Steinberg Activation Manager. But let's dismiss this. And you can see now that I have a Cubase Pro 12 activated in my Steinberg Activation Manager. 
and a button to deactivate it. Yeah, and there's not really more to this software. I can now close it as well as this website. And you can see that Cubase 12 has now continued starting up and I can load my first project. Now you also have to realize that you don't need to stay connected to the internet from now on. Basically Cubase 12 has been activated on this PC forever and there's no need to reactivate. Now you can also go through the same procedure on two other PCs and laptops to also install Cubase and activate Cubase on that laptop or PC because you can currently activate Cubase 12 on three different PCs or laptops. If you want to activate Cubase on yet another PC or a laptop, you first have to deactivate it on one of the other ones. And you can do that with the activation manager again. So if I want to deactivate this one on this PC, I just push the deactivate button, it takes a few seconds and now Cubase 12 is no longer activated on this PC and I can activate it on another PC. Now currently if you lose access to one of the PCs which has an activation, for example your hard disk crashes, you will have to go through Steinberg support to reclaim your activation. At the moment I didn't find a way to activate a system which is fully disconnected from the internet, but Steinberg has implemented in their frequently asked questions about licensing that they will implement a way to generate an offline activation that you can then use on another PC which is not connected to the internet. Another thing which is in the current activation manager is the possibility to do a grace period check to see if any of the licenses on my e-licensor are eligible for a free upgrade. Now I don't have such a license on my e-licensor but you will be able to check if your license is eligible for an upgrade if you for example recently bought Cubase 11. Now you have to remember that this is the first version of the Steinberg activation manager and their new licensing system and they will likely extend it further in the future. And if you want to know where all of this is going and what they've said about this on their website already, you can have a look at this video in which I discuss the new licensing system of Steinberg and what they have announced about this even prior to releasing Cubase 12. So have a look at that, enjoy and see you soon. Mm -hmm.